The clutch drum works with your chainsaw's clutch to drive the saw chain. The clutch drum has the drive sprocket built into it and includes a new bearing. When the saw is accelerated, the clutch expands and contacts the clutch drum, which drives the saw chain. After years of use, the sprocket on the clutch drum will wear down. If the saw is accidentally run with the brake engaged, the clutch drum will be overheated and can warp. The inside of the clutch drum can wear down where the clutch pads contact it. The needle bearing will eventually fail and need to be replaced. Replacing the clutch drum is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Socha. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the side cover, the bar and the chain from the saw. You always want to make sure that you have the brake unlocked before removing the side cover. Now I can remove the top cover. Now I remove the spark plug. The clutch is threaded onto the crankshaft, so when I try to remove the clutch, it just simply turns the crankshaft and I can't unscrew it. So what we need to do is bind the piston. To do that, I'm going to use a short piece of starter rope. I'm going to insert it through the spark plug hole on top of the piston. The string is going to take up that space between the piston and the top of the cylinder and bind the piston, and that way the crankshaft can't rotate. With the piston bound, now we can go ahead and remove the clutch. You'll notice on the clutch, there's a couple of slots milled on either side. And these are for a screwdriver to remove the clutch. I place the screwdriver on the slot, and then I strike the screwdriver very quickly with a mallet, and that should break the clutch free and allow it to start spinning on those threads. With the clutch removed, now I can remove the clutch drum and the needle bearing. Now I can install the new clutch drum and needle bearing. I'll start by greasing the new needle bearing. Just working the grease down and around each of the rollers. Now I'll slide this onto the shaft. And now the clutch drum. The side of the clutch drum with the sprocket goes against the saw. You'll notice these slots up near the sprocket. After installing the clutch drum, you want to rotate it around until those slots line up with the tabs on the saw. Now I can thread the clutch back on. And I'll just make sure that it's seated tightly. It's going to tighten itself as you use the saw. Now I remove the rope from the cylinder and reinstall the spark plug.
Now reinstall the top cover. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the bar and chain. And that's all it takes to install a new clutch drum on your chainsaw. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.